Chris Bassett here, and I'm gonna talk about being a tasker on TaskRabbit, some of the pros and cons, and what I think about it. Let's get into it. TaskRabbit is an American online mobile marketplace that matches freelance labor with local demand, meaning you can find help from everything from errands and delivery to home repair. You can scroll through profiles and see ratings and reviews of local taskers. Check out their hourly rates and then hire them to help you do a task around your house. This company has two different apps. TaskRabbit, which allows you to hire someone for help. And Tasker, which you set up a profile and people hire you. Let's go over some of the tasks that are available. Cleaning, generally in an apartment, house, or office. Deliveries for food, clothing, or other items. Electrical help. Running errands or helping with day-to-day -day activities. Ikea furniture assembly. Minor home repairs. Mounting, such as TVs, paintings, or other fixtures onto the wall. Painting, such as inside or outside a home. Personal assistant or uh, taking phone calls. Plumbing help or other water or sewage systems. Yard work, mowing, landscaping. Baby proofing a client's home. Car washing or detailing the interior of a car. Also, you'll be responsible for any of the supplies you need to finish the job. Uh, carpentry and construction. Decorating homes for uh, parties or events. Uh, extreme deep cleaning a home. Disaster recovery. Uh, event staffing, so uh, getting ready for a party, bartending, catering. Full service moving. You'll probably have to bring your own truck. Interior design of a home or an office. Laundry, ironing, and uh, basically dry cleaning clothing. Office administration, uh, like a secretary. Help organizing closets, desks, and other personal spaces. Pet sitting service. Uh, power washing. Project coordination. Rental unit management, room measuring. Sewing, shopping. Smart home installation, shoveling, volunteering, waiting in line, and window cleaning. So once you select the skills that you want to perform, you can set up your hourly rates. You can then enable your location to get the jobs closest to you and set up your availability. You set up the days and times that you want to work and then people hire you. They'll send you a message. You fill out your profile, make yourself more appealing. Um, any special skills, tools that you bring with you, uh, it's all useful in getting hired. You then draw the work area in which you want to work, and then uh, people will hire you in that area. So a few of the tasks I chose was moving and heavy furniture lifting. So I got hired on a Saturday morning for the uh, moving service. I have a pickup truck and a dolly, and then so I just messaged the client asked if I needed to bring anything else, got his address and approximately how long it was gonna take. The app has a chat feature so you can contact the client through the app pretty easily. I charged 30 bucks an hour and he's okay with that. So I just showed up at his house at like 10 a.m., helped him move some furniture. It took a couple hours. I charged him for two hours worth of work, created the invoice and then submitted it. Obviously, the client gets a receipt, uh, they review it, and then they pay it. Uh, you get paid through the app, and it takes like a week for the money to clear and then go into your uh, direct deposit. You can review the client, and then they can review you. Obviously, the higher stars that you have, the more likely you are to get clients in the future. And like I said before, you are responsible for the tools and supplies you need to get the job done unless you invoice it to the client and charge them a little more. So all in all, Tasker is a pretty good app to earn some side income with, and I'll be using it in the future. Check out my other video right here. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. And if this was helpful, hit the like button. Thanks.